Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and put the oil <coughs> pump back on. <coughs> Excuse me. There's two uh, sleeves up here that have to kind of wiggle into place. Okay, with the oil pump you're going to have four bolts. Looks like three long and one short. And I'm just I'm reusing these as well. This looks like the three long ones. And the rest of these are the same length, it looks like. So I'm just going to pick one. And quickly just clean these off real quick. So I'm going to set my wrench here to 17.7. OK. 
Okay, that's the oil pump. Now we're going to put the uh, the pan on here, and it connects to the oil pump right here. Okay. I've cleaned this up, wire brushed it real good. I'm reusing it, obviously. Um, it's important to clean out in here. I actually found an O-ring in here. Probably came out of the dipstick uh, tube. Um, replace this O-ring here. Very important uh, O-ring to replace. Make sure you have a new one there. And I'm just going to slide this in. I'm going to loosen these two 10 millimeters and then make sure everything is where it needs to be before I tighten it all down. Okay, so. 10 millimeter with an 8.8 .8 on it is going to be 7.4 foot pounds. it okay same for these two 7.4 foot pounds that's it now to finish these and we'll be good Before I put these in, I want to put just a, a dab of oil, not a lot.
last but not least there's a, actually a really uh, small bolt that goes on the very end here and that's going to be a 10 millimeter so this is an 8.8 .8. Um, I've already got my torque wrench set seven point two foot pounds so I'll go ahead and do this one first and switch sockets to the 13 millimeter and this is an 8.8 .8, which is also going to be um, well not also but it's going to be 17.7 .7 foot pounds so let's turn this up there's 10 7 That's about 0.7 right there. Okay, so 17.7 .7 on the rest of these. So that's it for the oil pump, uh, this valley pan here, and I think what we will do next uh, will probably be the front end here. We'll go ahead and get the, uh, the pulleys back on. So I put the bolt back on the, the front of the crankshaft and I'm just going to rotate this around a little bit and listen for any bad sounds make sure it's nice and loose everything spins freely
sounds good. Okay, so I'm going to move on to the front of the engine and put the oil pump chain on and the sprocket.